A warning tonight for pet owners from a man who says he believes his dog was bitten by a bobcat. As cities and towns push their boundaries into what once was the wilderness, experts say encounters with wildlife are expected. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker shares this story so you can protect your four-legged friend from being attacked. She's got probably about eight puncture wounds on her hind end. Sean Rakowski's dog, Nova, is recovering after something attacked the 12-year-old lab from behind. They're almost, they're about five or six inches apart from each other. And there's two sets of them, like she got bit twice. After talking with animal control and a neighbor, Mikulski says he's certain a bobcat is behind the attack. My biggest concern is I just have two little girls, you know, so I mean, if, if it's big enough to try to take down a decent sized lab, you know, a little kid wouldn't be much of a challenge. Bobcats are usually found in southwestern and extreme northeastern North Dakota. However, the Game and Fish Department says young adult bobcats have an ingrained desire to move away from their indigenous home ranges once they reach a certain age. So wildlife habitat corridors, such as the Red River, make for appealing travel ways to dispersing wildlife such as bobcats. Mikulski's home sits less than a mile from the Wild Rice River, which pours into the red. It's nice out here. I like being on the edge of town because I don't like how a lot of neighborhoods are really on top of each other. So if you're going to live in an area where bobcats could show up, Mikulski says be more careful when you're letting your pets or children go outside. She's going to be all right, though. She'll, be, she'll bounce back in a week or two. Cornelius Hawker, right. Valley News Live. If you think you've spotted a wild animal in your neighborhood, you're urged to contact Animal Control and the Game and Fish Department.